Hello, this is Jason Kidner with another edition of XPM's Expedited Explanations. These are short videos that help you maximize the value of Atlassian tools. In this video, I'm going to cover displaying and creating JIRA issues in a Confluence page. JIRA and Confluence are both products of Atlassian, and they have a robust integration. For this demo, I will be using integrated server instances of JIRA and Confluence, but this functionality is also available in cloud instances. First, I'm going to display a single JIRA issue in a Confluence page. First, I'm going to go to our JIRA instance and choose an issue to display, and here is one, and I'm going to copy this URL. And back in Confluence, I'm going to edit this page. And there are two ways to display a single JIRA issue. One is to just paste the URL of the issue into the page. And notice that Confluence sees that it's a JIRA issue and handles it accordingly. The other way to display a single issue is to use the JIRA macro. To get to the macro, I'm going to use the open squiggly shortcut. This is on server data center. And uh, I'm going to choose the JIRA macro. And the configuration displays. And here, I'm going to type in the issue key of that issue to display and search for it. Confluence sees it. And I can insert it and update the page. And I see that Confluence has handled the, the display of this issue in the exact same way. Uh, and I also note that the JIRA link icon appears at the top of the page now. If I click on that, I can see uh, the issue key of uh, any uh, JIRA links in this particular page. Next, I'm going to display the results of a JIRA filter in this Confluence page. To do this, I'm going to edit the page again and use the JIRA, fil the JIRA macro again. So type JIRA. And now I see that there's a specific syntax to use a filter with this macro. It's listed here, and I have a macro in mind, or a filter in mind. I'm going to choose the SSPA stories filter and search. There, Confluence sees all of the results of this filter, and I can choose to display all of these issues or just a few of them. I also have the option of which columns from the filter to display. And maybe I don't want to see all of these, just a few of these. Once I'm happy with my configuration, I will click Insert. And I can see the results of the filter then when I click Update. And there they are. I have 17 issues in this filter. They're all stories. And I can see the columns uh, that I wanted to display. And uh, these will be a, anytime this page is refreshed, there will be a real time update of any of this information uh, coming over from JIRA. Next, we're going to show how to create a single uh, JIRA issue in this page and multiple JIRA issues in this page. So, first, to create a single issue, uh, I will stay in the publish page and I can just highlight any bit of text on the page and hover over that text. And there I see the option to create a JIRA issue. I'll choose that option. And uh, I then have the option to choose a project to create the issue in and an issue type uh, to create. And note that these are governed by permissions in your integrated JIRA instance. I'm happy with this project, but I want to create a task, not a story. Notice that the text I highlighted shows up as the summary uh, for the issue. And I can also choose to put a description in. And note, you'll note that this is only two fields to populate. Uh, but this gets you started uh, with the creation of an issue that you can later uh, add more details in back in JIRA. When I click Create, the issue is created in JIRA. I can see the new issue key. I can see it's a task and the workflow status. And if I go back to our JIRA instance and refresh the issues in this project, I now see that this issue was indeed created over here. I can see, and if I click on it, I can see the summary and the description that I gave it. And I can see the link to the JIRA um, and Confluence integration page. Finally, we're going to show how to create multiple JIRA issues. I have a pre-populated table. And 
I can highlight all of the issues uh, in this table that I want to create. And notice I can choose to create a Jira issue. And let me try this again to make sure it does what I'm expecting it to. There we go. So here I see the option to create multiple issues from a table. When I choose that, again, I have to choose the project. I have to choose the issue type to create. And this is going to be the same issue type for all of these uh, issues. And then I choose the column that I want to associate to the summary field and the column to choose for the description field. And I'm happy with those. And it shows that these are the issues that will be created. When I click Create, those issues are created within JIRA. And I scroll down, I can see their issue keys and their statuses. And back in JIRA, I can refresh. And I should see those three stories were freshly created. And there they are. And they all appear here. And the links for all of them appear at the top, just like we would expect. So these are just a few of the integrations between Jira and Confluence. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in exploring the further integrations between Jira and Confluence, or want to talk one, to one of our experienced consultants, please go to xpm.com and let us know. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. And if there is a subject you would like to see XPM discuss in a future expedited explanation, let us know in the comments below. Till then, this is Jason Kidner wishing you success in all your Atlassian adventures.